So with that said, what are the stages of the sales cycle that you've identified? That is a very interesting question. I will tell you that we've worked with companies that are everywhere from cabinetry manufacturing to truck manufacturing and sales, a semi-truck, you know, the big semis, mm -hmm. to financial software all across the board. And um, it brings me back to a discussion um, on what we would identify as typical sales cycle. And they're not too far off from industry to industry, although it may may vary. Now, um, there are two, two sides of the sales cycle. There's the sales cycle for new customers, okay, or prospects. And then there's the sales cycle for current customers. Um, and they both look similar. What I like to do is break them into stages. And in each stage are what we call predominant activities, okay? So, for instance, to answer your question directly, for a new customer or a prospect, obviously the first stage is prospecting. Within the prospecting, there are many predominant activities, such as doing your due diligence on the prospect and determining, you know, qualifying, are they really a prospect? And sometimes you can't do it until you get to see them, but there are activities within the prospecting stage. The second stage would be the interview. And so you would have an interview stage, and some people call it a sales call. I call it an interview because within that stage, uh, they always say, well, you know, you have to gather information on the prospect. And so all that information does is help you qualify, am I wasting my time or not? Okay. And there are certain, there's a list of um, things you need to gather, but are you A, talking to a person who can pull the trigger? Is it in their budget? And uh, B, do they have the budget? After the interview stage, uh, it may vary from uh, industry to industry, but uh, generally the objective of the interview stage is not to gather data, it's to sell the next stage, and that would maybe be the proposal. Mm -hmm. So once you get to the proposal stage, the objective is to sell into the negotiation stage. So you have prospect, interview, proposal, and in negotiation. In the proposal stage, the predominant activities are to get feedback on your proposal. And the way I always like to enter that stage, David, is that I always tell the customer it's a working document. Here's the proposal. It's a working document. Between us, we'll collaboratively build a program or a system or a product or we'll build a partnership based on your feedback. The objective of the proposal stage is to engage the customer in negotiation. And just by asking for their feedback, you start in the negotiation stage. And in the negotiation stage, obviously, the objective is to get to the close. And that's the next stage. So you have prospect, interview, proposal, negotiation, close and there may be steps you know between those different industries you may have to go back and propose several times but once you engage them in negotiation our research shows that you should be able to close them 75 to 80 percent of the time and if you don't it's probably something you missed okay mm -hmm. then from close many different industries vary but from close we generally go right into the referral follow up and referral stage which is the last stage and that's why they call it a cycle because the referral uh, starts the sales cycle all over again and and that would be um, that's pretty consistent in every business but there are exceptions 